And then taking that action, that inspired action, will bring me exactly where I need to be and give me exactly where I need to not only survive, but also to thrive and to give then to others. And really just like looking, really just experiencing my life as a flow uh, rather than like a, a wave, like a square wave of like action, like reception, you know, action, reception, but, but more of just like a, like a beingness and like, like just, you know, inspiration really. Like what, what do I feel called to do right now in this moment? And like right now in this moment, it's making this video, but sometimes I don't know. Actually, a lot of the time, I don't really know what to do, like what's calling me. And so then I get to be curious. I can be curious in, you know, meditate, or I can be curious and go in the yard and play, or, you know, just lay down or stretch or, or whatever. And then, you know, or I'll, or I'll have an emotion come up, right? You know, in, in this play process. And then I can feel that emotion, move that through my body, and the spaciousness that that creates after the emotion is flowed through, then gives rise to pull something into that spaciousness, something else, uh, an action maybe, or reaching out to a friend, um, uh, calling someone, uh, buying a festival ticket, you know, like, like just different impulses. Uh, and it's been really beautiful to be in this process because, you know, by, by not, by removing all of the things I was doing because I felt obligated to do them uh, or I obligated myself to do them um, has really opened up a lot of opportunities that I don't think I would have had otherwise or that I, maybe I would have run from because I had an idea in my mind about what making money was and like what particular path or actions I needed to take to generate income for myself and in dropping that story really gives rise to like what happened the other week where a friend connected me to one of his friends who's working on self-love and meditation and ended up signing up for with me as a, as a client and I just I didn't I'm like also you know restructuring my view of value and like what value means to me and what what exchange feels good if I'm going to give my energy to something, uh, which is like something that I've ex I've explored my whole life to varying degrees of success, and I'm and right now I think I'm the most successful in my exploration of value because when he was signing up to be a coaching client, or when I was you know presenting an offer to him, you know I was just like I just closed my eyes and was like what number feels good and what number felt good to me that just came out of my system was $111 for an hour. And um, that's cool because I have a, a relationship with numbers um, where each like number sequence or really each number has a representation in like connection or embodiment or like physical manifestation. And so one to me is, is my like my kind of life path number in a sense of like like newness right like you go from zero and then one is like something like creation like um change in a sense um but just some kind of like like direction right and so 111 came to me and I offered that and he accepted and you know that's it's been really cool to to just be in process with him an hour a week you know and now tomorrow I have another connection that popped out of the field and my friend recommended one of his friends talk to me about coaching because I do or one of my superpowers is adding conceptualization and structure to someone's process so especially in the entrepreneurial world we have a tendency to say yes to a lot of different projects or things or businesses or opportunities and then become overwhelmed by them and not know what to do first or oh man I have these people relying on me and I can't let them down but I also feel really called to go over here and do this thing how do I juggle both and like that sort of thing I'm really good at like taking those things apart essentially taking those stories or ideas of what needs to be done and what should be done and taking those apart and examining them and like 
reflecting them back and, and seeing like what really does feel good and how do we implement a path so that you can have it all essentially like how can you do everything you want to do and nothing else because I think that's really what we're here for is to do exactly what we want to do and nothing else and exactly what we want to do is actually sourced from our environment and the earth itself and like what we're what we're surrounded by and who we're surrounded by so yeah lots of uh lots of good good things happening here and i hope they are for you as well <laughs>